Dryce Walker here with explanation. This time I'm gonna tell you something about smoke detectors. Something that it seems simple, but most people don't know. Number one, you have to replace the batteries every year. So at springtime, it's time for you just remove them all, even if the battery is still good, put a new battery in. Uh, and how you do that? You need to press it. Most of the units are removed the same way. You turn it counterclockwise until it stops and then you pull down. When you pull down, you will see there is a tab and you pull that tab off so you can remove the unit easily. <laughs> Just because I said it was easily, it's not. And you have a three prong and it's a three prong. Easy to pop it back in. These units are supposed to beep when power is not going to it. So if it is beeping, it's because of two reasons. Or the battery is dead, or power is not going to it. If you replace the battery and it kept beeping, what you need to do is press this button to reset it. And you press it, it's gonna beep for several times, so you reset the unit. Once you install it back in there, you have to know that you need to reset it again. Otherwise, it will keep beeping once every 10 minutes. It's going to do one single beep. Beep. That's annoying in the middle of the night. So if you reset it, you have new batteries and you have power coming to this. So you do it once, once a year. The spring, you replace the batteries. You don't need to remove it from the ceiling to replace the batteries. You have a compartment in most of them that you can just open to replace the batteries. But it's more convenient for you to bring it down, replace the batteries, and then make sure it's well installed and you put it back on in there. To reinstall it, it's also easy. You make sure the prongs are in the right place. You press it in, align the tabs, press it against the ceiling until it's flat, and then counterclockwise until it stops. It's installed. And after you installed, reset it. You push the button until it beeps three times. See, the other units are interconnected. So when this one beeps, the other ones will beep it too. If your house is not set up like this, probably just the one that you press will be beeping. Now this is reset and the light that's red in here will turn into green. You wait until we turn into green and you know everything is set. If that light stays red, something wrong with it. That's the battery. That's the power that's coming into. And if those things are good, you, all you have to do is reset it again so the light becomes green. That's it. Explaining things to you with explanation. Dryce Walker here. Until next time, talk to you later. Bye.